Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to the inner sanctum of my chamber of chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for November 8, 2023. It's the peak of the week, peeps. Yes, Wednesday, miércoles, ruled by the intellectual planet of Mercury with its energy of social communication and short distance travel. Yeah, like hiking up to the top of a hill and seeing the big picture of the landscape. Yeah, yeah like in the tapestry of life that we've created so far. Take a moment to enjoy the view and review your performance so far. Evaluate your work and see if there's a stitch you dropped or doubled, you know, as in crocheting. Yeah, I completed another mandala that I want to share with you today. The man asked me to make him one for his office. So I will be using this hoop to connect the corners of this mandala for display at his office. But look how pretty it is. It's got beads incorporated in there. I'll show it to you again once I put it on this round frame. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Oh yeah. And I'm also working the same cake of yarn that I showed you before. See, blue to match the color of the day. But this was bigger. This is all I have left now because I've already made two completed mandalas. It's like, oh, I have it in my bedroom. But I have two completed ones that I put above my headboard. And then I'm working on this one now still have this much left so yeah it's gonna happen so anyway today go over your labor of love okay and see if you need to go back and redo like a loose stitch or an unbalanced pattern yeah I do that all the time, especially making these mandalas because they're a little bit complicated. You know, after I finish each row, I look over my work and make sure that the pattern is still correct. You know, that the patterns are balanced. You dig? <laughs> so let's review Monday. We set the emotional tone that we want for the rest of the week, right? Tuesday, yesterday, we put that energy in motion by acting on it, okay? So that by the end of the week or by the end of the lunar cycle, which by the way is coming soon, November 13th, yes, is the new moon in Scorpio. That's next Monday already. So you have five days to turn those ideas into, I did it, okay? Complete your transformation. Do it now. Yeah, transform into the best version of yourself in your action, your words, your deeds, okay? Make it real. I know that first step. It's always the hardest, right? But if you come out of your head for a moment, you can put one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking out the door. Put one foot in front of the other. Oh, yeah, that's how we started walking on our first year on earth, remember? Yeah, and it applies to us as we grow and mature and evolve into the truest of who we are, right? Over analysis leads to 
paralysis. So don't think about it too much. Allow the energy to naturally flow freely up and down your spine and use the power of your seven primary chakras to navigate your way on the path of least resistance to reach your goal. Just go for it, you know? Have faith. We're all in this together, for we are one. So let's sing our theme song to unite our voices and lift our spirits as one energy to tune into the cosmic frequency of being all in all. Okay, let's go. here in this memorabilia <coughs> coffee mug that my daughter TLC aka Trinity Lauren Conley aka church groupie yeah along with this bandana from my favorite TV series Outlander on stars yeah I relate to that show I do because in all of my timelines, I've been an outsider, ostracized and isolated that I've gotten so used to it. You know, in fact, I've come to love it. <laughs> and now that I'm on my last lifetime here on Earth, see, this cup says, put on a kilt and call me Sashenak. Yes, now that I'm on my last lifetime here on Earth, I just enjoy it so much. Yeah, I like being isolated. I'm a hermit like that. <laughs> but Sashenak, this word right here, is a Scottish Gaelic word for an English person. You know, like Saxon. That's where Saxon comes from, Sashenak. Yeah, someone from England, a stranger or foreigner to the Gaelic people. Yeah, the Gaelic people used to call them Sashenek, foreigners, outsiders. But you have to see the series from beginning to end to get the deeper meaning of the word. But basically, it means someone who is an outsider. So watch it. It's good. Yeah. As you can probably tell by now, the color of the day is blue, true blue, baby, I love you. I really do. I wouldn't be doing this show if it weren't for you. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the last two shows I did on location at the South Coast winery resort and spa in Temecula where the man and I celebrated our 35 years of marriage our coral anniversary did you miss my face <laughs> well I'm back in my chamber of chakras and for the next years of marriage I set up the man with remote control adjustable bed <laughs> yes you know like sleep number but cheaper <laughs> yeah and I got him a big screen TV see let me turn this thing so you can see right on the TV see on the wall yeah we installed it last night so he could watch 
touch the Lakers on a vibe gel memory foam 12 inch mattress yeah but in my reality i have created this room into a therapeutic space yes that's in my virgo mind yes where the man can relax after work and he thinks this is his own bed right but actually a massage table right surrounded by my chakras my mandalas right yeah but shh, you ain't heard that from me <laughs> i won't tell if you don't but it's pretty obvious don't you think i mean look at that um tree of life curtain <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a mess. Yeah. Anyway, I can't show you, but oh, there you go. See that little tapestry I have hanging there on the opening to this office? That's the Tree of Life tapestry, you know, for privacy. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's looking like a spa over here. Oh, what did I drop? Anyway, yeah. But yeah, I have my chakra shawl hanging here now. Because the man didn't want to use this uh, DVD shelf. So I said, oh, I could hang my chakra shawl there so it's easy for me to show. <laughs> Yeah, and I have Minerva McGonagall's Transfiguration Wand here also to use as a pointer <laughs> because I'm such a teacher. Yeah, my daughter TLC bought this for me at Ollivander's, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Studios Hollywood. Yeah, I love Maggie Smith. She's my favorite character there. Yes. I'm gonna make magic today. All right, so yeah, we're back here at the big blue house. And I'm looking at you again. <laughs> I missed your face. Because I do. I do love you with all my heart. Yes, that's an Elvis Presley song, right? Blue Hawaii, if I remember correctly. You will never know just how much I miss you. just how much I care and if I tried I still couldn't hide my love for you you ought to know for haven't I've told you so a million or more times you went away and my heart went with you i speak your name in my every prayer if there is some other way to prove that I love you. I swear I don't know how. You never know if you don't know now. Yes, I love that song. I like the way Shirley Bassey the Welsh singer Shirley Bassey. I love the way she sings it. Have a listen on Spotify 
or whatever streaming music service you have. Um, but she's great. Oh yeah, she belts out those high notes. I love it. Anyway, so the throat chakra is the fifth chakra of our current. The spinning sphere of energy in our spine that vitalizes clear communication, powering truth and honesty in our words and deeds as the throat chakra enables us to send and receive uncompromised messages, untainted by negativities and untouched by corruption. A Sanskrit name for the throat chakra is Vishuddha. It's located behind the throat, behind the larynx, a voice box, that cave of wonder that echoes the truest of who we are. Yes, for men behind Adam's apple. But Vishuddha means extremely pure. Remember that Hindu myth or Sanskrit story I shared with you before about Lord Shiva swallowing the bowl of poison collected by the gods from the stirring of the ocean of milk. Yeah, there's a story like that. Google it and read for yourself. The gods and demons wanted immortality. Okay, so they're looking for the nectar of the gods, which happens to be buried like a buried treasure under the ocean, under the sea. Okay, so they got the world snake. They say it was the king of the snakes. Tied it to a huge mountain. And used the mountain as like the stirrer to churn the deep ocean of milk. So the demons, they call it Asuras, held the head of the snake while the gods, they call them divas, Held, held the tail part of the snake. So they stirred the deep ocean of milk and all kinds of debris and toxic chemicals surfaced, came up with all the garbage that were just lying at the bottom of the, the ocean. I don't know, like sunken ships coming up, oil spills, trash, all kinds of shit. Anyway, the snake, I guess, got motion sickness or just nauseated from all the stirring and um, garbage or something, vomited venom, and the gods collected it in a golden bowl before it could damage the earth. And they brought it to Vayu. Vayu is the god of the wind who rubbed it in his hands to dilute its potency. And then the gods gave it to um, Lord Shiva, who took it in his mouth and held it right here in his throat to purify the poison. And you know what happened? Lord Shiva's throat turned blue and eventually the rest of his body turned blue too, I think. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's what happened. So blue is the color of the throat chakra and its element is ether, the substance of space that carry our voices in the air, right? I took, a, I took off those indigo Impress-On nails because they started to lift and my hair got caught under the space between them, you know how they they were lifting at the bed and every time I would, you know, like run my fingers through my hair, my hair strands would get stuck underneath it. So I'm like, I'm taking these off. <laughs> but they lasted like five or six days. So I'm really impressed with those impress on nails. But it became a struggle to keep them on. So I finally took them off and painted my own nails. Look at them. Yes. I don't need press on nails anymore because my real nails are completely recovered from the damage done on them when I 
was cleaning the big blue house with pure bleach with no cleaning gloves because I was in a hurry. It was for Papa's 90th birthday bash. Thank God for regenerating them, right? Yeah, not bad. I love how the body heals itself. It took seven months to get my nails back. Back to normal. But you have to give the body enough time to restore itself back to health. Okay, so you can't be abusing your body and expect it to just heal itself overnight. You know? Yeah. If you become aware of the damage, you know, pause whatever you're doing to do that damage and let the body catch up to heal itself. But anywho, Scorpio season, y'all, yes, the season of deep introspection for ardent passion and intense desires. Yes, if you want it, here it is, come and get it. But you better hurry because it's going fast. Grab it while you can. Grab the bull by the horns and wrestle it to your will, the will of God, to fulfill his plan that he has for you. To prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. That's from Jeremiah 29, 11. Hala! <laughs> Yes, yes, y'all. God is good all the time, and he is on time every time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Me. Hallelujah. Us. Purify your thoughts by transcending the material world and ascending to the heavenly realms. Use your voice to sing praises to God, who is our all in all, right? Yes, he deserves it. What an awesome God we serve. Speak up for what you believe in. Speak up for the voiceless, the oppressed, the poor, the widows, and the orphans, all the orphans in the world. Yes, create your reality with your words. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be with God as our Father. Brothers and sisters, all are we. Let me walk with my brothers and sisters in perfect harmony. Amen? Amen. Yeah, so wear blue today. Light blue. Sky blue. OMG, guys, the sky here in the IE is as true blue as the Immaculate Conception. Yeah, we got such wicked winds coming through here today that the palm trees gone wild. Oh, yeah. Good thing we got my pecan tree out there on the balcony trimmed down, or it'd be slapping its branches against big blue. Like there's no tomorrow. As it is, the remaining branches of that pecan tree still has green leaves on them. But I can tell they're starting to turn yellow because the brown leaves are all brown, blown down into the swimming pool by that strong winds. Yeah, we had to batten down the hatches on the balcony, on the big blue back. So the light of the throat chakra is blue. So wear blue today, like me. I got on this old indigo jogging suit with a light blue trim. See, yeah. And this, I can show you the pants. 
I've got like a stripe of blue right there. Yeah. <laughs> My nails painted with trendy nail polish. My eye makeup. Right, cerulean blue <laughs> or azure blue. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I even have this crochet newsboy cap that I made a long time ago to open, activate, and balance the throat chakra. Yeah. Let me put this on. I crocheted this along with a YouTube tutorial. I can't remember the name of the, the lady that I followed along with, but yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, and I also got this baby blue locked up bag. <laughs> right? Baby blue, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, when I get a real estate call, you know. Because if you don't know already, the man and I are a husband and wife real estate team. With our home-based business here in this very office. Hello, Go Conley Realty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now back to topic. The symbol for the throat chakra is a lotus flower with 16 petals. Let me bring this closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Maybe this way. There. That's better. Okay. So the lotus flower itself symbolizes spiritual awakening. And it has 16 petals. Okay. The 16 petals represent 16 Sanskrit vowels of the Sanskrit alphabet. And the sound vibration of each of those vowels energize the voice to communicate efficiently and effectively. I don't know why that's giving me problems. Okay. The throat chakra works closely with the sacral chakra. And that's why their hand positions are similar, I'll tell you. We'll get to that later. But yeah, the throat chakra is associated or works with or closely related to the sacral chakra, which is our creative center. Okay? I'll show you here on the chakra here. Here's the sacral chakra. And here's the throat chakra. Okay, so the throat chakra is stimulated by the sounds of the petals, petals representing the Sanskrit vowels, okay? 16 Sanskrit vowels. So those sound vibrations invigorate artistic and creative abilities to touch the human heart and move people to build relationships with words, you know, like God did in the creation. Let there be light. And there was light, right? Yeah. So freedom of speech is is uh, all about, is what the, the throat chakra energy is all about, right? Free flow of communication, the sending and receiving. Really, I'm having difficulties here. But anyway, yeah. So be careful with your words, though, okay? Freedom of speech is one thing, but remember this illustration. Words can turn into a sword if you're not careful with them, right? Yeah. You have to temper your communication with love and compassion, okay? Because even if you don't say it, 
people feel it. If you, if you say things tempered with love and compassion, get small. Yeah, so think first before you speak. Use your third eye, right? There's the third eye. And there's the heart chakra, love and compassion, intuition, wisdom, okay? The throat chakra is between those two, okay? So use your third eye. Where's my McGonagall's wand of transfiguration? Use your third eye chakra to read the room. Yes, right? Make sure you are speaking from a place of love and compassion. Yeah? Yeah, because throat chakra is between the heart and the third eye chakra. Green and indigo makes aquamarine <laughs> to calm the restless soul, the color of peace and serenity, right? And you can do that with faith, trust in God and in Jesus Christ. Yes, blue is the color of sincerity and loyalty in being your true authentic self at all times. Okay? Let me put this to the side so I can come closer to you. Yes. So the moon, hello, Luna, how are you today, my friend? Mwah. My best friend, Luna. The moon is in Virgo today. So all you Virgos out there, yes, you, Nu, Messiah, Auntie Linda, all you other Virgos out there, open up and receive the oil of anointing pouring down from the core of your brain. The land of milk and honey, the pituitary gland is secreting the milk and the pineal gland is secreting the honey and combining it into a sacred secretion to flow down your spine. So let it flow freely and take its root at the base to sprout and grow and mature into the truest of who you are, to live up to your fullest potential, okay? Yeah, so... With the moon in Virgo, our inner world is looking for organization. You know, organize your thoughts. Yeah, if we feel that need to organize our thoughts so we can be practical and systematic in the process of being real. Got to be real, got to be real. Yeah, bring order and clarity to your life by putting things in order, but perfect, you know, in your imperfections, <laughs> right? <laughs> be perfect in your imperfections. Things don't have to be precise or accurate for clear communication, am I right? Yeah, you know, your heart has to be invested in what you're saying, and if your heart is in the right place, your communication will be received well. But as long as you're speaking truthfully and honestly and at the same time attentively and actively listening to the message of others, you know, their opinions or what have you, you can trust to let life run its own way. Yeah, expect the best, but not everything have to be according to your expectations, okay? You dig? Yeah, let me take that hat off. Anyway. Yeah, the hand position for the throat chakra is like the sacral chakra for they are closely related. Like the cradle, remember? The sacral is like this, but the throat chakra has the fingers underneath interlaced and then the thumb tips are touching and pointing upward, okay? And the mantra is hum. Hum. So take a deep breath. Hum. So chant hum on the exhale until you run out of breath, you know? 
deep breath and then hum for the exhale. Okay? So feel that sound vibration. Hum, healing the mind and body. Balancing the element of the ether and the throat chakra. And clearing any blockages like guilt, fear, doubt. To enable the expression of the true self and accept what brings peace to the heart. Okay? Command your wishes with the throat chakra to purify your self-expression and give you the ability to listen and take in information clearly, okay? Convey your own ideas with passion, you know? Speak up for whatever you need and show your individuality. Live life as your true self expressing creative ideas in making magic happen, right? Make magic happen. So take some time to meditate, pray, and read your Bible every day. Here are some scriptures to reflect on. The first one is from James 119. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Next one is from Ephesians 4, 29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may be benefit those who listen. Third one is from Proverbs 18, 13. To answer before listening, that is folly and a shame. Proverbs 12, 18. The last one is, The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.